Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. So on the 13 and older street glides, I get asked a lot how we fit uh, multiple amplifiers in the fairing. On the 14 and newer street glide like this one, it's a lot easier. There is a lot more room. And you could tell the difference immediately because the 14 through 22 actually have speaker pods. The 98 through 13 do not have speaker pods. But there is a lot more room in the fairing. This is a 1200.4, and we still have plenty of space on the sides to do an 800. On the older street glides, that's not the case. The fairing is very small, and there's not a lot of room. So the most you can fit without using a custom rack and without cutting a bunch of stuff is two Sound Digital Evo X800s or an amplifier of, the sim of a similar size. So a single Rockford uh, Power Sports 400, you could do... You could do two of the Hertz 500 motorcycle amps, but they have to be sideways and have to be stacked really close. But uh, this is how we lay them out. Then on the newer Shriek Light, you don't have that harness that runs across behind the gauges. On the older one, you do. So the key is to lift the harness up and get the amplifiers as close to the gauges as possible. I'll show you how we do it here. Uh, if you're using an uh, Lex Rack from XEL Customs, well, you can reach out to Lex. He builds custom racks for these bikes, but you have to move a bunch of stuff out of the way. And it's not as easy as it is doing the 15 to 22 road glide or the 14 through 22 street glide. Those are a lot easier. The older one, there's a bunch of stuff the way you have to rerun some harnesses. So we've been able to get two amplifiers on top of the radio, Evo X800s. Uh, you cannot get two 1200s. So you can get one 1200 on top of the radio. But then we've been able to squeeze one directly behind the headlight all the way down. But I'm letting you know right now, it's difficult. It takes a lot of work. And if you haven't done it before, I wouldn't recommend trying. I would take it to a professional shop or tackle it over the winter project or you're not going to be riding your bike for a while. The uh, difficulty is pretty high on that. But uh, check it out. So this is an install that we're redoing. We have to retape these harnesses and relocate them. And then open up some space to squeeze one amplifier down here, one on top of the radio, the rest are going in the tour pack. But as you can see, there's lots of stuff in the way, and this is not going to be fun. But it'd be one amp here, 800.4 here, 800.4 here, small DSP here. Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. I get a lot of questions on how we fit our amplifiers in the 13 and older street glides, electric glides. Um, the key is getting them under this wire harness and pushing them as far back as possible. So on these bikes, we could do two Sound Digital Evo X or Evo X2 800.4s. It'll fit along with a DSP and large magnet speakers as long as you lay it out this way. So to make the speakers fit, you just need a generic adapter like the Metra 829601. These are some DB Drive Moto 6 CDs. As you can see, they fit perfectly. If your factory mesh is torn up here, you can order the uh, Hot Tunes metal mesh grill like we did here. and It'll make the front look better. But a uh, regular adapter, nothing crazy. The speakers just bolted in place and the fairing closes. DSP is tricky because it's got to be at exactly this height. If you make it any taller, the fairing will not close. So if you line it up to where the DSP does not come out past the back of the magnet on the top part right here, 90% chance your fairing's going to close. So this is where we choose to mount the DSP. If you go too high, the fairing won't close. If you go too low, the fairing won't close. But this is the trickiest part right here. If the amplifiers are out past this harness, this part hits the fairing and it won't close. So you got to get the amplifiers all the way up against the gauges without smashing your RCA cables. And then if you add any height to the bottom of the amplifier, even if you add a quarter inch, the fairing probably won't close. But you have to make sure they're all the way back. They have to be back towards the gauges because if they stick out past the radio, you're not going to get the fairing to close. So there's the radio body there. As long as you can get the base of the amplifier flush with the radio body, 
the fairing's gonna close. I literally just got this question this morning on a kit that we shipped out, and it's literally the same exact kit, so I know for a fact it fits. So the Rockford radio, which we have on this bike, is the same exact height as the OEM radio. If you make sure that the amplifier is flush to the end of the radio, the fairing will close. This is another 13 and down Shriek Glide, but this one has an aftermarket fairing. Same issues on this one. You only have the space here. But on this one, instead of going on the side of the DSP, it can go under the radio, because since it's a Sony radio, you have space here. But same thing, if you don't get the amplifier tight to the end of the radio chassis, the fairing will not close. Street Glide running the Metro Fairing.